What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking to Nike Dunk Low, Fruity Pebbles. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. We're talking to Nike Dunk Low, Fruity Pebbles. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Well, let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release November 8th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $120, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like they're averaging $150 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, I made a mistake and not, I did when I did my um, upcoming sneaker releases for November, I actually left this one off the list. I don't think it was kind of loaded at the time, so I kind of missed it. So salutes to Rachel. I think she let me know down in the chat or down in the comment section on that video. So salutes to Rachel for that one for sure. Um, and of course, that's what those videos are for because obviously I'm not gonna catch everything, right? Okay, now back to these Fruity Pebbles. This is a LeBron Fruity Pebbles, right? If you notice on the back of the shoe, it actually has a LeBron logo go on the back of the hill on both sides now one thing i say this shoe definitely stands out and you would think in theory since i love the color red so much these would just stand out to me in nothing but a positive way however they're different i will say this obviously the inspiration behind it obviously fruity pebbles you see they have the fruity pebbles actually going on the shoestrings featuring speaking of shoestrings there's two other extra laces that will be coming with them looks like a white pair and a purple pair i personally think the purple pair will make this shoe pop even harder in my opinion other than the actual fruity pebbles logo which is also featured on the inside of the shoe of the insole so look like they, they played attention to detail on the shoe and if, if you're like me growing up fruity pebbles i can't help but think of the flintstone cartoons because i believe that that's what they ate or it was just like an exclusive cereal with their with 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 the Flintstones on them right okay so with all that being said even though I will say in theory right if you look at all the details on this shoe it is definitely a dope shoe right okay but we also got to keep thing and we got to keep things 100 it's a lot of stuff dropping in November low key, man. We us let you know what we got on the radar. And we all know those Jordan 1 lost and founds are on the radar. But for the focus of this video for the Fruity Pebbles, I will say this. They will be a skip for the kid, but they are definitely drip. It's just something that I wouldn't write home about. It's not something I feel like necessarily too to go crazy for. I think we've seen these floating around, like me personally, I think I've seen these floating around in an area, like as far as like, we didn't know when they were gonna drop, but I think around June or July of this year, they were floating around images anyway. So I guess it just finally they had to, Nike had to find a way to squeeze these in somehow. I just feel like this wasn't the perfect time to release this shoe. Still a dope sneaker, but right now with all the other stuff that we got ahead um, on the radar for November, these will be a skip for the kid. Doesn't mean they're not drip because they definitely are, but they will be a skip for me, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and we'll be going after these on November 8th, retailing at $120. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones and thank you for watching and I'm out.